Hi everyone, Karen Berry here. I'm an oblique finger weaver. And in this video, I wanted to show you how to do this beaded edging on the border. Um, and a lot of historical artifacts that I've seen, you'll see this done a lot where in the weaving, you've got this, uh, this bead that sticks out horizontally from the weaving, weaving and um, you can just weave it in as you go. And I wanna show you how to do that. And the quickest way for this piece, I'm actually gonna have woven drops um, for my fringe. Uh, and I'll have a separate video on dividing th this up for woven drops, but it's just a quicker way to show you the edging because I don't, you don't have to watch me weave all the way across. So basically here um, on this side, which for me is the left side, um, if you're right-handed, it would be on the other side. Um, I'm going to string up a bead on the very first strand of my top warp here. So as you can see, I'm going to just string that right up there. And then basically with drops, um, you can see from the other video, it's just like weaving a row. It's just a very, very short row. So we're just gonna do what we always do with the two top strands under the bottom, grab that one, and then the two last strands. So that's our very short row. So it's a quick way to be able to just show you over and over how to get that bead snug up in there. So then, so you've done that row and you've got your bead in there and then we just do it again. So same thing, we're gonna grab the bead from the outermost top warp here, slide it up, weave a row, and boom, it's all cute and snug up in there. And I'll just do one more on this side and then I'll go to the other side and show you how to do that. So here we go. Outermost top warp, pull the bead up and weave your row. So that's how you get that nice little horizontal bead edging look and it looks really nice with the oblique bead patterns because they're usually spaced out about the same as the beads in your pattern are so it just has a really nice finished look about it so I really I really like doing that so I uh, wanted to show you that um, <clears throat> real quick here so I don't lose my mind I'm going to do a little slip knots so I don't get tangled up over here and then I'll go to the other side um, I'm gonna do woven drops for all of this red in the middle. And then, so basically it's gonna end up looking like this in the end. Um, but, so how we get there is, okay, sorry, get this out of the way. <laughs> okay, so now that we're on the other side, I'm gonna have a woven drop here. So take my, my lovely slip knots out here so I can just show you when you're working on the other side, which again, for me, I'm left-handed, so uh, this would be at the end for me. And if you're right-handed, you'd be starting from the side and then your end would be over there. So I don't think I'll post uh, separate right and left-handed videos for this technique, because I just wanted to show you how it works. Um, you need to watch the we weaving a row video is very important to get that down and then once you've got it down, this is basically the same thing. It's just uh, pulling those beads up the way I was showing. So when you're here at the end, instead of pulling a bead up like I was doing on this thread, it's actually gonna be the last thread of the bottom warp, which you know makes sense because we're on the other side. So uh, how I do that is I just weave my row like I always do. Um, and then I just grab that last thread and pull up the bead there. It's probably a more efficient way to do it, but whatever works, right? So, all right. So then, so we've got our, our row weaved and just kind of block it in a little bit. Same thing. Just weave your little miniature row there. Since I'm doing drops, I'm just doing I'm doing a drop that just consists of the border on this piece, so that's why it's just six <laughs> six strands wide, it's very thin. Um, and the thing about drops and fringe, and I'll talk about it in the other video too, is there really are no rules. Um, just do whatever looks good and whatever you like. I think woven drops look really nice though, so. 
Um, but it's just a quick, easy way to show you this. So, so every row, I'm just pulling up a bead on that last strand and voila. So, so that is how you get that beaded border and um, post comments with any questions and thanks for watching and look out for that uh, woven drop video, but that is how you're gonna get that nice beaded edging there. Thanks for watching.